Hi, this is uh, Paul. I wanted to make a quick video about, uh, I talked about this briefly, I think, uh, in other videos, but I wanted to talk about, since the DC is making a Nightwing movie, and they also make a Batgirl movie, about the casting of Nightwing. Uh, I went to see American Assassin, you know, movie starring Dylan O'Brien, who I knew from the Maze Runner movies, and so and I know he's on Team Wolf as well, but um, I think he's the perfect guy to be Nightwing, and this is a couple of reasons why. Um, his role in American Assassin, he had to be, you know, he plays this distraught guy who loses his fiance in a terrorist attack, and he, you know, he goes on his own, training himself, learning MMA, learning how to shoot weapons and stuff, to, you know, so he can be, you know, tough enough so he can infiltrate the, you know, the, the Muslim sect and kill the leader who was in charge of the uh, terrorist attack. But um, in this movie, he he's very physical. You know, you see him fighting hand-to-hand -hand in several scenes and this, and he handles himself well. And I think he has the perfect look. He's dark, dark you know, has the dark hair. I think he's tall enough, and I think he's believable enough in the fighting, because like I said, he has a couple of fighting scenes in the, in the movie and stuff. He practices MMA fighting and stuff, hand-to-hand -hand stuff, which Nightwing has to be good at as well, and athletic. And you can believe this guy is athletic, and he is. And he, I, I think he, he can handle the physicality that the role requires. Because as he's facing in the Nightwing movie, he's going to have to fight a lot of hand-to-hand -hand, uh, uh, com combat, and I think he can pull it off. Because if you see the movie, he okay, he, he can do the physicality, and he has a determined look. And I like his acting in the movie as well, so I think he can be Nightwing easily. If you see that movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But uh, I just think he knocks it out of the park, and he hits all the buttons. He's young enough, because I think in this movie, he's supposed to play as a 23 year old. So I don't know how old he is in real life, uh, but he's supposed to be 23 years old, and I think in the DC movies right now, Batman is supposed to be in his, like, I think, right? In his uh, early 40s. Okay, an older Batman. So it kind of makes sense that Robin would be significantly younger than him, obviously. And so I think, because I was first, I was thinking that he may be able to get Tim Drake, be Tim Drake, but I think he could pull off being Nightwing because I think they want Nightwing to be young enough where they can put him in several movies. They don't want him to be. That old, because I was thinking about the act, there's another actor in that movie, American Assassin, Taylor Kitsch, who played uh, Tim Riggins on Friday Night Lights. I think he's in his late 30s. Uh, he could be in his early 40s. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how old. I think Tim Riggins, uh, Taylor Kitsch is on his late 30s. But uh, he's not, he looks closer in age to Ben Affleck. And there has to be a kind of an age gap, I think at least a decade age gap between, uh, or more between Robin and, and uh, Batman, or Nightwing, excuse me, and Batman in these movies, if you're going to do that. And I think he, uh, again, Dylan O'Brien, he pulled it off because I, like I said, the only thing I ever saw him in was Maze Runner. And so I didn't know if he could to do the physicality that requires. But seeing this movie, American Assassin, he, he can do, he can pull that off and, you know, he, he'll handle the weapon. He did a lot of fighting and action and, and running around and stuff. And I think he can pull it off. Maybe they want to, you know, make him gain a little bit more weight, you know, but he can, but it appears to me like he can do the fighting hand to hand. And I think he has the right look, dark hair. Uh, and I think he can pull it off, he, you know, and and I think he's the guy. So I know they're, the guy that did, directed the Lego movie, he's the one that's uh, doing the movie. So um, I think he should definitely get him. And also, I know uh, since, um, uh, what's his name? It's um, Josh, uh, I forgot his name now, <laughs> I can't think of his name, who's uh, directing the background movie. Uh, he should cast alongside and see whoever he uh, cast is uh, Barbara Gordon Batgirl. Mm -hmm cast that person alongside, I think, Dylan O'Brien to see if they have, you know, see if they have good chemistry together because, you know, they're obviously going to be love interest, I think, eventually. And so I think they just cast right along, you know, whoever they cast his background. That background, I haven't given much thought to, possibly be uh, uh, Robert Gordon. Uh, so, you know, that that's a little bit more harder to think about that, but maybe I'll make a video about that later. But for now, I think they definitely should cast Dylan O'Brien. I think he's perfect. As Nightwing, uh, Dick Grayson. I just think he has the look and the physicality, and he definitely can play a part. Because I don't know if they ever got past Tim Drake in it. Anyway, so I think he's old enough, and he can play, I think, an older, guy, like mid 20s guy anyway. So he's still young enough, and that way he can last through a couple of movies, and even maybe even have an appearance in the Batman movie, the solo Batman movies as well. So. Anyway, let me know what you think of Dylan O'Brien. What do you think of him? Uh, as Nightwing, what do you think of him? Uh, let me know what your choice is as uh, Nightwing, who you want to cast. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. 
And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my main channel, Trey Pastor, in the description box. So please check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long. Take care.